All right, everybody, hello again. It's time for a brain scrubbing urban renewal edition. Uh, we're going to start a new game here. I was thinking about whether I wanted to continue an old city or start a new one. I'm going to go ahead and start a new one. Uh, we're going to go with a North American theme. So I can do that classic right side traffic that I'm used to. And uh, also, I'm going to have everything unlocked from the beginning so that we don't have to monkey around with uh, demolishing a bunch of stuff to, to bring in trains and all that kind of kind of headache. So what do we have here? European, no. Barrier Island, Coral Riches, Great Islands. Great Highlands. So I did quite a lot on the, uh, where is it? This Archipelago Haven map. I built a pretty big city on that. Um, and I also, I've used the uh, Waterway Pass, which is a very kind of, yeah, it's a nice flat river valley. But um, terrain wise, there's not much going on with it beyond that. Uh, sweeping Plains. What is this? Uh, a vast ocean can be accessed from multiple smooth beaches nestled between rising cliffs opposite the ocean. A long and tall mountain range creates a marvelous landscape. A broad expanse of flat land provides plenty of building space between the ocean and the mountains. A single highway runs through the entire length of the map. That sounds pretty good. Southern Hemisphere, North American... Uh, it says buildable area, 31%, all connections, a lot of agricultural land, um, no oil, that's fine, whatever. Uh, let's see, 24 to 74 degrees Fahrenheit, so we should get winters with snow then, I would think. What, what's... The archipelago definitely does not get uh, snowfall. Let's see, this is 23 to 96, so and we got snow on that. So I, I do like just how the game looks with snow, especially as it's receding. So we'll go with this. Um, so there's limited space, so that will present some challenge, especially if we decide to put in the international airport and some of the other bigger footprint items like the Hadron Collider, etc. That uh, seemingly, like, when everything's said and done with infrastructure and everything leading up to them, they take up entire grid squares just by themselves. So, um, well, yeah, we'll see. Let's let's start with this. I'm going to select this. Uh, no left-hand traffic. Romsey, no, we're not going to call it that. Uh, we're going to unlock everything. We won't do unlimited money. Let's try to make this a little challenging. No tutorials. We don't need that. Now let's come up with a name. Um, so I'm getting kind of like a Riviera. Like I don't think I can't really think of any southern United States uh, cities that are backed by mountains that are on the coast. Well, I guess other than, it's not southern, but Los Angeles definitely meets that bill. But if we were going to try to do like uh, that kind of map, then we would need more buildable area than 31% because LA is just a massive sprawl. Um, and it looks like, uh, see, I wish you could go in and just preview the entire map and just mouse over it and look at it and see where the resources and stuff were before you started, uh, instead of just kind of guessing. So based on this one screenshot of the overhead, it looks like it backs up the mountains roughly two thirds of the way up, and then there's probably little to no usable land in these mountains. So that's not exactly like LA, which from what I understand is kind of split by a mountain range and there's just sprawl built in and around all the mountains in the valleys etc so maybe if this was like a smaller range in the middle and there was a bunch of stuff behind it that we could build to that would be more like la but um 
let's see what about twin mountain is that that's european uh windy fjords you would think that would be european but no that's north american all right instead of being paralyzed by analyze we'll go with uh we'll go with sweeping planes make a decision make a decision and go with it name let's try rant let's know playita cortada blois burnley heathsville Ford. okay these are lame Barf Coast Bay. Get real creative. Barf Coast City. Get a visit by the cat. Yeah. You've already been fed. And here we go. Hey Neria, how's it going? Thanks for stopping in. Okay, so oh knows they started us up here, but this is another reason why you just unlock everything from the beginning. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know if I need to buy all of that just yet. I don't want to eat up my entire budget. That's a pretty big size. All right, well, let's see. Where is the agricultural land? Okay, so this looks kind of good in the sense that it uh, looks like a lot of the agricultural land is along the corridor of the highway. So, let's see, or Now, it said no oil in the preview, but there's clearly oil on the map. Uh, whatever. No need to let a uh, gift oil well in the in the mouth. I, I, I couldn't think of a a metaphor. Uh, how's the audio sound? Is the um, I guess there isn't a lot of game audio just yet. But is my I I turn the the microphone up inside OBS so let me know if that if that still sounds like shite so what are we gonna do long term I think I'm okay just starting a little farming community here along this waterfront that could be neat it's already got the power infrastructure going into it already has a road built into it Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Now, since we do have significant money to start, I'm wondering maybe if I want to widen this highway, make this into... Uh, Oh, I'd have to buy all the highway tiles to do that. Weak sauce. Let's 
So I guess we, we are going to start our first major building area just in this general area. So we'll, we'll go ahead and buy these just to get started. Two million, that's not terrible. And that's a pretty good chunk of land to build with. Uh, let's see. Ooh, I like this, uh, this cliff here with these ruins. That would be a good, this should be a good section for, um, for a park. And maybe some, uh, footpath only housing or pedestrian road only housing which is an option in this game. You know, let's, uh, let's zone that off right from the beginning. I like that. Uh, Rosewood Town. That's uh, inaccurate. There's uh, maybe 10 trees in this entire area. Oh. Uh, Cliffs of Ruin. That's a good uh, power metal album name. Okay. Now what? Let's see. Let's go back to our resources overview. Not a whole hell of a lot of farmland I can use. But, uh... I mean, unless you're really trying to micromanage the economy, I mean, it almost seems pointless to try to, to even try to make grain for your people because the, the, in, or the demand for it is so high unless you just like devote every square inch of arable land towards grain it seems you're never going to meet that demand now, i'm sure i'm probably wrong by that but just in my experience it seems because you have to use uh, arable land has to uh, if you're going to do vegetables cotton or grain that they all require arable land so you're going to sacrifice one of the three and it just seems the grain demand is so much higher than everything else that it's, it's almost a, a moot point even trying to manufacture it in-house. Might as well import it all. Let's see, what do we want to do? What do we want to do first? So do I want to start with just a small little farming community? Because that seems... Seems that's like the setup that we have. Just with these two... Plots here. Set, set farms up here. And then maybe... Use this area in between for some light residential and then have some light commercial along this uh, feeder road heading from the highway. First thing, okay, that's four lanes, that's good. Is this a highway or, all right, I don't know if I want that to be a highway. Maybe I think I might just want that to be a standard strode, is that the term? Uh, 
Let's see. Or, because I don't know where my really dense area is going to be and how much of it I want. So I like this uh, little peninsula here. This would be a nice, pretty cool spot to put a, an urban center, like a small urban center. Have some uh, skyscrapers on this elevation. Gonna have to move this burial ground. Have some haunted skyscrapers. Hmm. Or oh, let's see. Is there? Where's the sea lanes coming from? All right, so there's like no resources here, or hardly any. I mean, that's pretty small. I could put a small ore industry there. Hmm. I can't decide. Can't make up my mind. Well, first things first, we are going to make this into regular road. This is not going to be highway. But just to make it scalable, we will make it six lane road. Okay, why is it that snapping too? There we go. Excuse me. Oh, you dirty. Okay. You know what, we'll just build out that far and let's go from there. So like I said, we'll put some, some of our first little small business, small shopping centers along this main axis. All our strip malls in that good old American fashion will have strip malls by the highway. And it'll look like every place you've ever been inside the United States. Okay. That's not what I wanted, but I think I can move this slightly. No. Now it needs to be a little longer. Well, we're getting there. Not really. All right, it isn't going to be perfect. And let's see. Where is our 
Forest fire. Where? Oh no. Well, we've got a burning bush, a burning tree. I'm afraid that one's going to have to go. We're not going to get there in time. Can't save them all. All right, what was I doing? Uh, where are... Let's, let's see, my farmland is here. First off, we're not going to have this shit. We'll work around that. So the farmland is here. And there. Try to have this uh, this road run as close to parallel as the highway as we can, without being sooner super anal retentive about it. I'm gonna try not to build too close to the water. Um, well, we don't have it's it's. Um, uh, no, we don't have unlimited resources, but um, the the whole I can buy whatever part of the map I need, and I can see where they are starting out. Because if you just start the game without everything unlocked and uh, with the limited money, you, you have to play and progress until you unlock the view that lets you see where these resource nodes are. So you might built like i might not having being able to see this area of grassland for example i might have plopped my first housing developments right on top of this not knowing that's where the grassland is unless until i unlocked it and realized oh i just built on top of you know, half of my arable land so um as far as i know this never expires the the green and the forestry, the, the green trees that you can see here, that's uh, unlimited more or less wherever it's on the map. I believe oil and ore do dissipate over time. And they, they are um, uh, non-renewable. But I'm not sure. I think there might be mods or there, there's going to be mods that just you know, undoes that. But obviously, we don't have those yet. But um, I think it takes a while to, to go through uh, one of these nodes before they're gone. All right, so we'll keep our road going here. No, it's not exactly, it's not straight, but that's fine. I like it to be a little off kilter here and there, just, just so it doesn't look so dry and boring. Uh, let's see. It will kind of curve a little here. Let's see, that's not... We won't build on this side of the road until I know how that's going to look uh, with the water along these banks. But we should definitely be able to build uh, some farming here. So let's build a couple farms.
going to try to keep this relatively realistic. So we will start with a grain farm. Build it right up against the road there. Uh, let's see, I probably can probably just straighten that out. Yeah, I know, you don't have sewage and all that shit. Um, do I want to go ahead and just... Yeah, we're going to go ahead and unlock all the way to the edge of the map so that I can put in some sewer um, sewer outlays, or um, sewage pipes, rather. And we're just going to export all the sewage out of town. I'm not even going to build. To start out, we're not going to have any outlets. I want clean water all along this coast. Because once it's there, it is really hard to get rid of. So we're going to make it someone else's problem. Yeah. What's a $2 million? What's $2 million to the government? Okay. So now... Go to combined pipe... And I don't get creative with the pipes or anything like that. I just straight shot. I mean, that, that, that's probably gamey, sure. Where it lets you just build right under the river without having to um, tunnel correctly or modify the terrain or build a pipe bridge or whatever you want to call it. Build it above the water. Just... Nope. Quickest, easiest, dirtiest solution possible. Well, cleanest, rather. So now we need power. I think I'm just going to import my power, too. I'm not going to, uh... I'm not going to have a bunch of... belching-ass, uh... power lines until um and we'll just put a transformer here so that will plug into my infrastructure and one thing I started doing with these uh, plots of farmland one thing I like doing is just kind of because um, I think it looks neat it's just building Just little, little single family homes right next to it. So that's the, the farmhouse for whoever's running this farm. They live in this house here. That's the idea at least. And so what are we going to grow across the street? What are we going to grow across the street? How about vegetables? Put the farm here just to kind of break it up a little bit. Let's t tighten these shapes up. And I want 
what's it say? The 78% uh, efficiency, huh? Well, I haven't filled this in yet. 59%, that stinks. I wonder if that'll go up as more people start working there. Nope, just one house. Family farm. That's the idea. Oh, you... There we go. Well, efficiency when it's going down. Well, let's get some more residences. We'll see if uh, if efficiency improves. If not, we might just have to tinker with the shape and get it something that's a little more viable. I know I'm covering just about all the arable land in these plots. But if I remember, these aren't like... It's not like glowing green mo over. Well, that's that's pretty solid. All right, let's just cover as much as we can. <clears throat> okay. Now let's build some houses. Or before I do that, I want to plot the rest of my farms out. So we're going to put another grain farm here. Oh, that won't reach all the way. So if I can. Yeah, let's build a road out to here. Actually, let's just... Uh, we're going to keep it country. Let's make this a gravel road. It's gone country. Okay. No, I have the wrong thing selected. Okay, it's not quite far enough out. All right, let's just put it there. Start there. So it's going to be a little more abstract. All right, now let's build a road out to the farm. OK. 
Okay. Shit, is it going to let me do... Can I do what I want to do with that road layout? Let's find out. Well, that depends. What is it you want to do? Something like that. Although, let's tighten that up. Then... Can I wrap around like this? I haven't tried it this way yet. Hey, well, all right. Let's build this person's house, this farm's, farmer's house, rather, right here. All right, I need to know. because I want to optimize as much of this darker green as possible on this wheat farm. Excuse me, grain farm. It's not wheat, it's grain. Let's, let's not get crazy. Okay, uh... Let's put another house here. Nope. Can I do a four by six? Yes. Oh yeah, that's what this is. Derf derf. You know, we're just gonna make it all country. And then here, across the street, across the way. About some old-fashioned candy stores. Or whatever. And finally... No! Why are you doing that? There we go. All right, so right, this looks kind of janky. Let's change that. It looks stupid. Let's make it a straight line. Fifty six percent. Outstanding. Hmm. Ten percent. Hopefully it's just because people have not started moving into the city yet, and then once these things are fully staffed. The efficiency will go up. We'll, we'll find out. So I guess our next move should be... Um, 
yes, the different agricultural resources that you can use. Uh, there's only one type of grain per se. It's just the generic grain. But then you also have um, vegetables, uh, textile, cotton, whatever you want to call it. So those are your, th and then uh, livestock, which livestock can be put anywhere. That's why I'm not worrying about that on these, these grain areas like that. You can put that anywhere. But um, these three, grain, vegetable, and textile, have to be on the arable sections. So they basically, um, any of the uh, natural resources or finite resources that you can get, uh, including all this stuff here, like oil, ore, coal, etc., it's all, and most of it is used in some kind of production or another. Uh, and you can kind of get an idea of that in the, oh, that's right, I turned the day-night cycle on. Uh, let me disable that for while I'm streaming. So, just to get an idea of how that works, where is it? Um, I guess the easiest place is just to go to the economy panel. So, if you go to production here, this breaks down your surplus and deficit of materials. So, these are your raw materials that you build by or harvest by building specifically or specific farms or harvesting areas like these farms that I've been laying out. And then material goods, these are sort of like processed raw materials. So things like metals, steel, minerals, etc. And it, let's see, where's one that's... So, okay, here's one, beverages. So if we look at beverages, you can see that... I can't mouse over it without losing the... All right, so if you look in the middle there, you can see... On the left column, where it says processing and import, that tells you what you need to produce beverages. And then on the right column, that tells you where the beverages go to consumers, retail, export. Uh, likewise, with convenience food, as you can see, grain and poultry processing goes into that, and that goes to consumers. Consumers means commercial zones, I believe. Um, food like just generic food you know groceries okay so no it specifies retail so I, i'm guessing consumers might be people who just buy directly from the manufacturers i don't know um and then here we have uh textiles that's uh that's a product of petroleum poultry and then uh textiles or um what do they call it? Textile fiber farming. I'm just going to say cotton. It looks like a cotton plant. I'm just going to say cotton for simplicity. Um, oops. So hopefully that, that clears up your question. So I think I'm just going to do a very simple grid of residential starting here. Okay, that's weird. Why doesn't it allow me to extend out to here if I... It says it overlaps, but it's still overlapping. It's because of the... 
because uh, it's not completely flat. Hey, uh, all right, let's flatten this out a little bit. Ah, uh, no. Oi. I don't really like how that looks. I don't mind that it's just sort of gently sloping like that. So I think I'm going to... You know what? It doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, we're not going to make a gravel road, though. Let's make a regular pedestrian road for these. Grid. Start here. 90 degree angle. Okay, I like that. Three, three side streets. And then I can just continue like this. Now let's not go that far. Let's go up. Uh, let's go in even. Four hundred and ninety yards sounds good. Nice straightforward uh not arbitrary at all number. What is happening here? Okay, that made like some kind of pond on accident here. So that kinda of, uh, that looks kinda of cool. I think it's just kind of a goof. Based on uh, the elevation that I was leveling out there, but it looks sort of neat, so I'm going to keep it. Uh, yeah, I haven't really played Anno that much. Uh, I played, um, I guess, the first Anno, Anno 2770, whatever, the, the one that's in the future. I haven't played the Colonial one. I think the one reason I gravitate to city skylines so much is just because of the road tools. And I, I think, in my opinion, city builders kind of break down into two general schools. Uh, ones that let you build curved roads and ones that don't, more or less. And like just naturally curving roads. So if I wanted to do something totally goofy... Like that, I could. Now, we're not going to use that, obviously. But, um, whereas most of, like, it seems most city builders really limit you to either, I mean, sometimes you can do a 45 degree angle, but more often than not, you're just locked into making grids. And I just find that after, I mean, you could have the coolest looking buildings and animations in the world, but just from the, the that isometric perspective, you know, like this angle here, looking down at just the same grid or, or like similarly sized grids, you know, going up to larger grids. It's just, I don't know, there's something that's missing. It it's, doesn't seem as natural or... Um, aesthetically pleasing to me now okay i want to keep this but i don't want to keep it if it looks like shit and now it looks like shit what the hell just happened um OK, 
Okay. I don't know what's going on with that, but I don't like it. Kind of like what uh, Jim Norton said in the first Spider-Man movie. He stinks, and I don't like him. All right. Uh, now they say I need workers. All right. Lack of labor. Well, get to fucking, and you'll have all the labor you want. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. Um... All right, so we have a pretty good amount of demand for light residential. Start building some houses for these people. a very scientific way of laying these houses out as you can see oh i ran up against my demand for small residential i want to keep this kind of limited for now so i'm not going to even think about starting medium residentials just yet until we uh actually get to where we're going to start building more of a city center and i think this is just going to be kind of like a little bit of a you know maybe make this these two tiles here or just delete this and make this one grid here the the city center put a park and services in there that could work Okay, there we go. Yep, more employees, efficiencies rising. Makes sense. Good to know, good to go. Okay. Yeah, I think this is just going to be a small town running these farms. And then we're going to go somewhere else to build another small little town around another industry and we're going to run them along this highway since we have the space and the means to do so. All right, demand for light residential is going back up, so we're going to plop some more patchwork housing down here. We'll start with one apartment building, one apartment block here with storefronts on the bottom floor. Yeah, that's crushing my medium residential demand. So we'll let that develop more fully before we start putting any more medium in. And again, like I said, I'm not even going to worry about dents right now. But. Well, there's six people living here. These six people are not going to have a 
a dearth of choice in their shopping needs. I don't know why, but it only shows, it just shows me as being the only participant in the chat, even though I can see your chats coming in near you. I don't know if that's, uh... I can see the messages coming in, but I'm, there's, it doesn't look like, at least the way I have it set up at the moment, I can't see participants and the chat at the same time, because it's from the same window, which is really annoying. Worry about that later. Got houses to build. Alright, so let's just uh, keep plopping in some housing. Now the, the 21 people that live here are complaining about a lack of health care already. So yeah, let's go ahead and make this, we'll make this little square into a, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? We'll make this like some city services here in this block. And actually, just to make this a little scalable, I think I'm going to... Well, if I widen, if I try to widen King Street here, it's going to totally goof up these farms. Should have thought of that ahead of time, huh? Well, if we have to later, we'll have to later. But for right now, we'll just keep everything two lanes. I don't... We haven't even hit 50 people yet. I don't think we need to start widening the roads just yet. So I'm going to put elementary school right here. Give it a little bit of a 
Give it a playground. Put a police station here on the corner. Yeah, let's move that. Let's put it here. Put the fire station here because it's a much smaller footprint. And then, okay, you're going to complain about health care. We'll give you health care. Oops. Well, shit. All right, we'll move this. I pretty much buy whatever upgrades to buildings I want to buy whenever I want to plop them in. Just get it out of the way so I don't forget to do it later. It's not the best idea from a budget standpoint, but uh, with this mode, uh, money is basically no object. You know what, if we're going to... Let's just cram as much crap into this little area we can. Let's put shops in all this negative space. That'll be our little downtown for this little farming village that we're building here. Okay, so... Demand for light residential just isn't there. They want that dense residential. All right, well, if you want high-rise apartments, actually, we'll just go with the low rent housing for now. Put some other, let's just, let's see how this does. Put a little three by two. See how that develops. Oh yeah, just that little bit is driving that demand down big time. So that'll do for now. And let's turn the speed up and let it run for a minute. I'll get some water. I'll be right back. Someone died. We can't bury them. Bleh. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna go with the low impact crematorium. Graveyards are freaking huge in this game. Like just the basic cemetery takes up that much space. I feel like cemeteries, like, you can zone out and custom, like, much the same way with the landfills. They really should, I don't know why they didn't do, do this to, for starters, is uh, make the cemetery building work the same way the landfills work. Where, like, it's just like one of the farms. So, for example, you know, if you're going to build a landfill... You, know, you just plop it and then... You have, like, this area to actually mark as your, your landfill. You know. So why they didn't do the same principle with the cemetery, I don't know. 
Uh, knowing Colossal Order, that's probably going to be a DLC. Okay. Put them on ice. All right, so now you have somewhere to bury people. Now we're up to 100 people. A lot of demand for medium housing, huh? So... Put another small apartment in building in here. Put in a few of them. You know, that's squashing that demand. Actually, wow, it really is. Oh yeah, I know, I know what I need. I need parking lots. Let's build some parking lots. Put a parking lot in for this uh, area here. And I probably want to put one in for my little city center down here. Where can I put it? I don't want to block this road off. Actually, let's go ahead and extend that. Just get that out of the way. I think we'll make this road. Actually, let's level this out a little bit just to mitigate flooding down the way. Uh, turn this brush size down. Yeah, like these 50 people, it's like, we. this is not Manhattan, folks. It's not even Manhattan, Kansas. Well, that looks like shit. Okay. Build a fucking seawall. Okay, enough of that. All right. Let's 
gonna do a solid block there. I just like doing these weird off kilter quilts with the housing. Can't connect to the internet. That's because you're in nowhere, nowheresville. All right, so we've got a little startup farming community here. Nice to see people are using this parking lot already. Sometimes it takes a while for people to start using the parking lot. Uh, let's see, what should I... I don't think... Well, let's see if this will this develop very well if I just stamp the whole thing and fill it in. Apparently. Try to make these middle blocks pretty symmetrical. Yeah. Excuse me. Well, maybe not as symmetrical as they could be. But by laying them down just on two by four plots, you can make sure the houses come in the size that you want them to. So that they're like kind of these small ranchers. Hey, this guy just got home from work, or this lady. What are you doing, Maria Gold? What's your story? Oh, you're happy. That's good. You're idling. Yeah, you're just kind of standing in your driveway like a knob. Uh, you work at the police station. Destination is your house, 131 Spring Street. So, you, good job getting there. Um, uneducated. Oh, great. Yeah, and this... Looks like a trailer. Makes sense. Okay, what do you got here? Lana Jennings, you're poorly educated. All right, so over time, I mean, once we get enough people in here to justify having a high school, some of those numbers will go up. Okay. What next? Hmm. I think I'm going to fill out these uh these blocks and then I'm going to go make a mining town.
got these two on the corner here. Just at random. These two three by two blocks. You know what? We'll make those um we'll make those some small apartments. They're on the main drag. All right. So I could make a little mining community or mining industry area right here. question is do I want to put it there and how would I want to build the infrastructure around it first thing where is the wind blowing literally all right so because mines put out a lot of pollution and that would blow all the way across basically down this entire axis all along the highway so that would stink for anybody living along that corridor with that in mind it's kind of the way this whole map is set up though It's down here on the edge. Could put some oil in here. And that would put the oil close to the train tracks. So if I wanted to run a cargo line from here down to here, a lot of the track is already in place. Hmm. What is this? No, it's just a little outcropping. Nothing spectacular. Why can't the wind be blowing in another direction? Like out to sea, huh? And I wish I could build on this entire map because this would be this area out here. Like building a, this seems like the ideal place to build a downtown a financial center out jutting out on this point. Could you imagine coming in from uh, from the ocean and just seeing a huge metroplex sprawling along this point along the shore? That would be cool, huh? But we don't get to do that because life is hard. First world problems, right? Okay. Uh, 
Oh, more paralysis by analysis. Could put my oil here, although I think the wind is more swirling there, of course. Oh, no, it's still blowing out. Actually, that's sort of blowing out the sea, too, so... Yeah, maybe that's what we'll do. Our next little town will be, uh... I don't know if I want to do that, though, because I thought, yeah, this might... This, uh... Raised area would make a very neat spot for, um... Oh, and around, like, this little Stonehenge thing. Well, you can move these, can't you? Yeah, you can move them. That's pretty awesome. Even though I think that kind of... If we're role-playing, that would sort of defeat the purpose. Uh, take it back down to one speed. Hmm... I mean, once the roads go in and all the terrain's been sort of flattened out and softened, really not going to be a lot of buildable area for high-rises here anyway. I mean, especially if we're doing at least four, you know, four-lane roads. You know, what I would probably do would be... Um, a six-lane feeder on either side of this uh, plateau with um actually that's so sh yeah that's pretty steep too so I wouldn't be able to just build cross streets so the more realistic solution would likely be like a six or eight lane feeder running along the spine of this ridge here up to this plateau. Maybe then making some kind of oval or some sort of interesting geometric shape on the top of this plateau and just fill it in with buildings. And then maybe if I could level this out a little bit and then have oil industry dumping a bunch of sludge and shit into the water nothing wrong with that yeah gripping drama let's get back to putting in low-income housing while I sleep on it or whatever. Uh, well, I have pretty good demand for medium housing, so I think I'm going to make... We're going to make this middle lot row housing. Okay, I don't have as nearly as much demand as I thought.
See, why couldn't we flip this colossal water, have the oil or the ore here on the shore where the wind current would just blow it out to sea and then have this agricultural land up here in the flatlands? Why couldn't you do that for me? Hmm. All right, I could be literally look at this view all day. All right, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to build oil. I got oil here. Yeah, it's going to blow some toxic fucking air over some people, but, uh, you know, life is hard. What can I say? Um... Somebody's got to live on the other side of the tracks. That's what they told me in middle school. Oops. All right, so where's that? Where's the sludge? Where's the oil? Oil's right here. All right, so we're going to build, just for reference sake, start with six lane road running roughly parallel to these train tracks uh, let's make it free form uh oh getting an error YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming as such video is happening here. Is the stream dying? Can did I did I lose you all? Both of you? One of you? I'm just going to run. Hey, could, if you're in a chat, could you let me know if you're, you still see it? I got an error saying that the, the stream might have cut out, but I can't confirm it. Okay. So you're back. Does the, the stream look okay? like a buffering issue. Huh.
Okay. Okay, yeah, I think, um... I still have this error saying YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming, which is... Weird, because, uh, I mean, my internet is still going. Um, well, in any case, I think I'm going to shut it down for now. Uh, we, we made a little progress. I guess uh, the next time I'll start building this actual little uh, oil town that we're going to start up here in this corner. And then, uh, yeah, so the idea will be we're going to build some oil derricks, and then a cargo hub for uh, rail cargo along this train line that we can run out to the, run to our neighbors through this connection. And then also, um, maybe, I think it would be too close. Th this area just isn't built up enough, in my opinion, to justify having a, a cargo line running to and from it. So, all right, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and shut it down for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any uh, requests or suggestions or anything in between, let me know. All right, thanks.